Hi guys, so I've been playing I'm Satsuna for about 3 or 4 hours now and I thought maybe I should make a basic guide for new players because when I started the game I dubbed a lot and spent a lot of time running around not sure what to do um, especially when it comes to Spirit Knight and how does the battle system work and where do I get the things for my recipe so I'm gonna cover those three things today and I hope my guide will help you when you start off the game. Okay, the first thing that you want to know about recipes is that you need four ingredients for each recipe. And the ingredients are these shinies that you find on the ground in the game. They're actually not hard to find if you explore everywhere that you go. They're not like, you don't require some kind of special skill or anything. You will just see it like, shining on the floor there and it will make this sound. It's this specific sound when you're nearby and just press spacebar and you pick it up. So when you have four, the four ingredients to make a recipe, you need to find the correct NPC and go to them so that they will give you the recipe. Um, they will also cook it for you and give you one portion for you to eat um, for the first time. After that, even if you keep going back with the same amount of ingredients, they won't cook it for you again. What you need to do is you need to bring the recipe to a chef in a town and the chef will learn the recipe for you and then the next time onwards you can buy it from them. So here's, I'm gonna find one of the guys that actually can give you the recipe. I think I have all the components. It's this guy here. So if you don't have all the components, you they will not talk to you, um, they will not give you the recipe and they won't tell you what they need either. So if you want to know what is it, you can search online. There are a few sites that already have the components for each recipe. I can link it down. Um, I can link it to you if you want. It will be down in the description. Once you have the recipe from the person, you can go to an inn where there's a chef. So I'm at Fluent Citadel now. You can give the chef the recipe and he will learn how to use it. And then after that, you can just buy it. Okay, the next thing that I want to talk about is Spirit Knight. Um, Spirit Knight are basically gems that give you the ability to use spells or what this game calls tech. So for techs, um, there are two types of Spirit Knight that gives you... Uh, one is called Command Spirit Knight and one is called Support Spirit Knight. For Command Spirit Knight, they are like active spells, for example. See this? Aura or Cyclone. So when you equip it, then your character is able to use this tag in battle. So for support spirit knight is something like this, returner, physical pride. So when you equip it, you do not need to cast anything in battle. Your Once you equip it, your character automatically has the buff, which for this case is added damage, added physical power. The the amount of spirit knight that you can equip on a character is dependent on your level and the item that you have. So when you start off the game, you will only have one slot and right now I'm, I'm about level 15 or 16 and I have 4 slots. So for each slot, if it says A, it means you can equip either command or support. If it's S, then only support and if it's C, then only command. If you want to increase your the number of spirit knight you can carry on each character, it depends on the item that you use. It, um, actually, only the talisman can increase the amount of spirit knight that you can use. So right now, for this, I actually equipped one that uh, talisman, which is the base talisman that you start with, Mark of the Mask Tribe. It has no slots, no effects. But as you progress in the game, you can get better ones. So for example, if I use um, White Feather, should I or should I use this? 
let's say I use I use this Tower of Fortune. If you look at the slots for this talisman, there's A, C, and S, which basically means that you can use three more Spirit Knight for your character if you equip it. So I've equipped it, and we go back to see my character, and there you go. There's three more. So how do you get Spirit Knight? Um, there sometimes you can find some in chests, but that's quite rare. The easiest way is to to buy them. And obtaining them is not hard. You just find this guy. He will unlock after you reach the the first village, if I'm not wrong. So you can obtain Spirit Knight. Um, he sells um, for every character, but when you take, you have to take note. Like whenever you buy Spirit Knight, some can only be used by certain characters. So for example, Cyclone can only be used by your main character, which is mine is called Mirth, obviously. Okay, and then as you scroll down, it will change. Setsuna, Athena. More and then at near the bottom, then you will find you will find those that you can buy for all. And finally, the last aspect, the battle system. The battle system in I Am Setsuna is similar to FF Seven, in the sense that it uses ATP gauge, and you can use spells known as tech. However, there is also an added element of combos, which I will explain in a while. Now, before you go into battle, you can choose any three party members to fight with. Depending on who you choose and what spirit knight they have equipped, you will have access to different combos, which you can see here. Right now, I don't have any because of the small variety of spirit knight I can afford to buy, but as you can see, there are two men and three men combos. So, let's get into battle. <laughs> The battle system uses what is called an ATB gauge, which is the orange bar that charges over time. When you are selecting an action on any of your characters, as you can see here, time freezes until you make a decision and then the ATB gauges will start charging again. And although you can see, enemies also have their own ATB gauges. The next thing is the SP gauge, which is the circle right here. When a character's ATP gauge is full, and you do not choose any action when time is frozen, the SP gauge will fill up, like so. Once the SP gauge is full, you will get a momentum point to use. Using momentum adds extra damage or effects to the attack, tech or combo that you use. No. To use momentum attack, after you have selected the action a character to take when they are attacking, the blue light will appear on top of their head for a short time. You need to press H during that period, then the attack will have the momentum effect. I'm going to use it again on here, so keep a lookout for that. So I hope you enjoy it and or I hope it's informative for you and if you like it, um, do give me a comment on what else you would like to see for the game, um, what other details you want to know about and I'll see if I can do it for you.